Hey guys, it's Scott with Scotty B Cards. In this episode, I have huge hobby news from PSA. PSA announced as of today, March 30th, 2021, that they are no longer gonna be accepting a majority of their submissions. Their goal is to catch up on their backlog and to make sure that they're getting cards turned out because they have so many caught up in their current system. This is gonna have really big implications for the short term and the long term in the hobby, and I'm gonna dive into those in this video with you now. Uh, the first thing I wanna read is the message that they have, and I'll read it to you real quick. It just says, as of March 30th, 2021, PSA has temporarily suspended the acceptance of most submissions. We are currently not accepting value economy, regular express orders. We will take a tiered approach to reintroducing these service levels. Our goal is to bring all suspended service levels back by July 1st, 2021 which in my opinion is gonna be a very hard thing to do. Their backlog, I've heard rumors it's in the millions. I've heard up to 10 million, probably around two to five. You know, there's a lot of cards in their back order. They haven't announced that number. I don't think they want to, to show how many are there, but there's a lot of cards waiting to be graded. The only options that you have at PSA currently is you have the Super Express for 300 bucks, you have the walkthrough for $600. You have the premium levels, one, two, three, five, and 10. It's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. And on the very last, the collector's special swing in 60s for $9 for bulk order. So that's all you really have. If you wanna get a regular card, not from that 1960s you know, grouping, if you have a bunch of those, and if you're a member, you have to pay 300 to $600 to get your card graded. This is a good thing in my opinion. I haven't read any comments. I just saw this news and recorded this video. The reason I say it might be a good thing is because so many cards are backed up that it's starting to become a problem. Uh, you know, PSA has been called a bunch of really bad things recently, and a lot of it may be justified, but regardless, if you actually look when they had their price increase last month, I think it was March 1st, people were really upset with it. They said it was just them being greedy, grabbing money, and it felt that way in a lot of cases. You know, I think they actually introduced that price increase to be like a soft cap, where people could still submit, but it would stop a majority of the submissions. But I think they realized that that's not gonna be the case. There's so many people grading cards that those submissions were still gonna be high. And so I think they decided a month later, you know what, let's just stop submissions entirely until we can get back. We have a very unfavorable view right now in the hobby. Let's make sure we can correct that and fix that. So I think this is in direct response to some of the backlash they've had. I actually made a video when they raised the prices on this channel and people were, if you read the comments, they were pretty pissed off and they still are kind of right now. So this is their attempt to fix that issue. And I think it's a step in the right direction, but it also hurts because, you know, grading cards is something that I love to do, you love to do, everybody in the hobby loves to do. It helps our cards have, regain value. And it's gonna make you really wonder what's gonna happen when Prism, you know, drops in this week. I think it's this week, Prism's dropping. They're not gonna be able to grade those cards unless you're paying the Super Express, which is pretty crazy. And in all honesty, you know, as people are submitting cards still, I think only like the very high end like Lamellos and, you know, all the other top rookies will get graded. But still, I don't think they'll be able to get back open by July 1st. That's a very optimistic approach. If you look at their complete through date, the complete through date shows the oldest order that was entered into their system of that specific group. So if you look on this chart from today, March 30th, you'll see, you know, for economy, which is used to be their 20 day, that is a, you know, the oldest one is September 1st is when it was ordered. So they still have September, October, November. November, December, January, February, March, seven months worth of backlog. And on top of that, when they announced their price increase, there were loads of cards that got dropped off of PSA. So I think it's gonna be a good long while until we actually have full submissions back. That's just my opinion. So I hope it's July, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was later. One thing I just wanna kinda of talk to you about is what's gonna happen with the graded card market. You know, HGA is getting a little bit of the market share, but they're grading such a low number that it's just not gonna really be a huge impact. PSA is now grading a lower number, zero right now. SGC is gonna see a huge flood of incoming submissions. I remember last week, SGC posted a thing on their Instagram that says, backlogs are stupid. We're gonna see if that is actually true. If they can handle this big wave that is gonna be coming their way. Uh, but overall, I think in the short term, a lot of graded cards are gonna be worth more money. You'll probably see a little bit of bump in almost all graded prices across the board. And on top of that, you're gonna be seeing more and more cards return to people you know, from PSA, from grading, because they're gonna be pushing cards out. So you may see a little bit higher supply on some cards, which won't really impact the value, but the other cards, the more rare cards, I think the value of those graded cards, because they're already in hand, will go up since there's no other option.
One thing I also think could happen is raw cards could be making a comeback. You know, people when they're gonna be opening this prism, they, they usually grade anything worth grading and they sell kind of things with defects or if they just don't wanna wait on, on the internet. It's a, it's a very small number of cards worth grading. But now it might be a really good time to buy some of those raw cards because people don't have an option. They have to wait till July and then after July, they have to wait another like six months to a year to get their cards back. It's gonna be a year and a half to two year wait, it feels like. And hopefully they're fixing it so it's not gonna be the case, but that could be the case. So I think people are gonna be selling raw cards and it could be a good time to pick up some raw cards ungraded. So just kind of a silver lining to this whole thing. It could allow us to get some better cards and it'll be interesting to see if people go to Beckett more, if they go to SGC, HGA. HGA is limited in what they can accept and so that makes it so they only will take what they have. It'll make those cards in more demand. I think all graded cards across the board will go up in value, especially if you can get cards into HGA since it is like a lottery system. So, you know, CSG as well, I think would be a really good option. They, I don't believe, have a cap. They're pretty expensive for what they are already. Uh, they're reputable in other industries, but I think they will be seeing some people coming over as well. I think SGC and CSG and HGA are the real winners of this whole situation. The collectors overall, like, it sucks in the moment. And I'm read anybody's opinion, so I could be wrong. This is just my view as like a really practical standpoint is it's a good thing. We'll all get our cards back that are at PSA right now. The prices were too high anyways to really grade. A lot of us weren't grading anyways. So overall, I think it could be a good thing in helping get the market back into shape. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoy baseball cards, sports cards, videos, I post three videos each and every week, which will be talking about arbitrage opportunities, news, or other just deep dives into with other collectors, other investors, and talking about the hobby as a whole. So please like and subscribe. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you later and have a good one.